Hello good people and welcome to my second video on setting up retro emulators in the pocket chip. If you haven't watched the first one yet, where I show you how to set up Doom and RetroArch, the link is in the description below, so feel free to check it out. It's full of helpful tips and tricks and can be quite useful. Ok, so with your pocket chip turned on we need to go into the terminal and again as always we're going to type this to get us going. sudo space app space update. For those of you who haven't watched the first video, this downloads packages from the repositories and updates them to get information on the newest versions of packages and their dependencies. It's always worth running when you first enter the terminal as the updates are regularly being released in this always growing community. Remember if you need them, full written instructions are also available in the description below so you're not rushing to keep up with me or pausing the video. Next we need to install the package dependencies for building PCSX rearmed by entering sudo space apt space install space git space build dash essential space libsdll dot 2 dash dev. When that's completed we must download the source code. Make sure you're in the chip's home directory. When you're there, we must clone the source code repository for the PCX rearmed using git. So git space clone space http colon slash slash github.com slash notaz slash pcsx underscore rearmed dot git. Now we must change the pcx underscore rearm directory and update those super modules by typing git space submodule space update space dash dash init. We are installing this in a pocket chip so we need to configure it in a special way using compiler flags. Capital C, capital F, capital L, capital A, capital G, capital S equals apostrophe dash mcpu equals cortex dash a8 space dash mtune equals cortex dash a8 space dash mfpu equals neon apostrophe space dot slash configure. Don't forget that it's case sensitive and cflags at the start of the last piece of the code is in capitals and the rest is in lowercase. All you need to do then is run make within the tilde slash pcsx directory. It's that easy. Similarly to the previous video, I can't tell you where to get the PlayStation images. That's illegal and I couldn't condone it. But what I can recommend is using a USB stick for all your games. Because the games can be enormous and the pocket chip only has 4 gigs worth of memory. So copy the games to a USB key, insert the USB drive into the pocket chip. And then from the pocket chip's home screen, tap file browser. Find the USB key in the left pane and tap on it. This is required to mount the drive, so the files are accessible to the system. Back into the terminal type, tilde slash pcsx underscore rearmed slash pcsx. The emulator will start, and using the up and down keys scroll through the menu hitting enter to confirm your selection. So load the CD image, enter, navigate through the list of files and directories with the d-pad, and select your desired image. Remember some games will use the .q and other games will use the .bin extension, so it'll keep your brain active, but you'll figure it out. When you've found the game you want, simply highlight it and press enter, and you're done. Ok, so now on to the next one. In a fresh terminal window type, sudo space apt space update space and and space sudo space install space dosbox. Next you need to edit the config file for it to suit the pocket chip by typing dosbox space dash edit conf space nano. Only the following need changing. Leave everything else as is. Full screen equals true. Full resolution equals 480 by 272. That's the pocket chip screen size. Window resolution equals 480 by 272. And output equals overlay. 
and then you need to scroll down to find this one. Tandy equals off. Save the changes to the file and quit the text editor. Again, games are widely available on the internet. Several of them are now shareware, so you should have no issue at all finding some, but I genuinely can condone telling you where to find them. That's illegal. Put the games in your storage media of choice. In this case, I have the game in the home directory. You simply type DOSBox space game name, with the game name being the full path of your game. If you have the secret of Monkey Island in your home directory, for example, and it's called monkey.exe, to run it, simply type DOSBox space monkey.exe. Okay, that's it for today, guys. If you haven't watched it, check out my first pocket chip video for RetroArch and Doom Goodness. And if there's anything else you'd like to see modded or running on any other system, just let me know. It's not just about pocket chip. It's called Can It Retro after all. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.